What's up you guys? Good morning and welcome to another vlog. All right, y'all, what's up? Good morning. It is like just before noon and um, I did a little bit of stuff this morning, but now I'm really getting started on my day because I plan to film a loungewear haul today. Now, I have three kids at home with me today, so I'm gonna have to do all of this in between like nap times and stuff like that. So we're gonna film that today. So the first thing I need to do is kind of clear out some space like on this wall. This has really been our like dumping zone for moving. Y'all know we moving, so we're packing up. And as we pack up boxes upstairs, we kind of bring them down here and just sit them in this office. But I'm going to clear off this wall right here, which there's not that much stuff. And this is where I am going to actually do the haul. So I'm going to set up right now. And that's that. Today, I also need to open some packages. I got a PR package that I'm really anxious to show you guys. And I also need to film um, my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow collection video and start packing that up as well. Oh, and I need to clean my makeup brushes. So a lot of stuff needs to be done and hopefully you guys will stick around. eyeshadow palettes I just actually filmed my eyeshadow palette collection I don't know if it'll be up before or after this video but now I'm gonna pack some eyeshadow palettes but first I want to show you guys a couple of things one I want to show you guys um, this package that I received from someone here on YouTube her name is Prettiest Problem on YouTube as well as on Instagram. I did just do a collab with her like a month or two ago. We did a black owned makeup brands collab. So I'll make sure that video is linked in this one. But she actually has her own wig line as well as her own eyelash line. And um, she sent me over some products. So thank you girl. We actually met on Instagram and she's super sweet and I just love her energy. So um she sent me over a couple pairs of eyelashes and I'm gonna show you guys what she sent okay so it doesn't say what style they are on the box I'm gonna have to ask her and I'll insert it in the video but these are some serious lashes honey these are so long and pretty they're like super long and wispy and fluffy can you guys see those how gorgeous are these? Oh my God. Those are some long ass lashes. Like, 
I'm about to wear those in my next upload. I'm excited about those. And then these are a little shorter. These are probably more my speed for like all the time, but so, so pretty. There we go. So pretty. Look how gorgeous these are. Yes, I love it. So it actually even comes with like a little spoolie in here if you guys can see that comes with a little spoolie to looks like to comb out the eyelashes i'm excited about these girl congratulations so she just launched i'm going to put her information down below in the description box so you guys can check her out definitely support um black owned business you want to support i'm so excited for her i'll definitely be using these um in an upcoming video so be on the lookout for them like i said her information's down below make sure you check her out and support her and let her know that i sent you all right so next i'm going to show you guys my boxy charm so this is the august boxy charm you guys are watching this in september i know but they sent this to me so late i feel like boxy charm is just becoming later and later every single month and i know covid you know probably has something to do with that but they've just been coming so late every month it's like come on but anyway um boxycharm actually came with this glam glow moisture trip omega rich moisture trip omega rich moisturizer so really excited about this i love the glam glow moisturizers the masks everything glam glow i just love so very happy that they sent this over it came with a Hydra Glow Sleep Serum. What do you do with the sleep serum? Apply this face serum on clean skin before your moisturizer. Use several drops, smooth in gently all over face and throat. What's it supposed to do? Greet the day with glowing skin. Hydra Glow Sleep Serum instantly absorbs with our triple action hyaluronic acid formula, delivering time release, multi-depth hydration for fully hydrated skin that glows. So never heard of, I guess it's like a, a sleeping mask, it sounds like, I don't know. Um, this is an eyebrow definer pencil from the brand Real Her. I've gotten several items from their brand through BoxyCharm before. Nice soft spoolie and uh, just a nice skinny pencil. You guys know I'm a stand for skinny pencils like this. So we'll definitely keep that in the collection. What shade is this? It doesn't say the shade, but it looks kind of dark brown. Actually, why did I not just swatch it? Yeah, it's a dark brown. Dark brown shade right there, so that's good. All right, it also came with, ooh, matte lip crayon set from the brand Tristique, and this has six colors in it. So Tristique actually, their lip products come looking like this, almost like there's no cap on it. And these are crayons. So this is the red one. This one's the shade Chili Red. Oh honey, it's creamy. It's nice and creamy. And then last but not least, um, an eyeshadow palette by Butter London. This one's in Teddy Boy. Let's see. cool toned eyeshadow palette which I will probably never use so that just looks like that so I expressed this last month but I feel like I kind of want to let BoxyCharm go I've had it for several years now and I've been loving it but lately I seem to get repeat products or just products I'm really not interested in so I'm trying to give it some more time because sometimes like they'll come with a great product like this glam glow moisturizer pays for the box three times over however I have so many moisturizers like do I need another moisturizer right now the answer is no so what am I really paying for you know what I'm saying so I've just been kind of going back and forth in my mind about if I should keep boxycharm like for this box the only thing that I really love is this moisturizer like that's it so I think I'm going to give it one more month and then I think it might have to get the axe or maybe just the base box will get the axe and I'll keep the premium box because right now I'm paying for two boxes and I'm just not happy with everything that I'm getting. So just being honest with you guys, you guys know I love BoxyCharm, but my skincare as well as my makeup collection is very extensive as you guys know. So it's just 
it's unnecessary for me to keep paying for it. I think it's worth it if your collection isn't as large as mine or you're looking to just kind of expand your, your makeup and skincare horizons and see what's out there. But at this point, I just feel like it's not worth it for me. So that's kind of my thing on BoxyCharm. But if you like that box and you're into it, I do have them linked down below so you can sign up for them. But now we're going to pack up some eyeshadow palettes. There's a lot of them, okay? I counted, I have 87 eyeshadow palettes, so I'm going to pack them up. I'll probably try to leave out like five to 10 because we still have, what, a month and a half before we're in our new house. And I have to film videos and I also have to pre-film because I'm gonna have to set up my beauty space and all that before I can even film once we get in the new house. So I'm going to need a variety of palettes, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to pack them up and then I'll keep out the ones, I'll pack up, keep out the ones that I think I want and then we'll go through those together. I'm thinking about keeping out everything else has been packed um, I know for a fact I, I I just looked at it I don't want this out I don't need this one out. I can put that away um, I love these two palettes let's see this Ruby I don't have anything like it so I definitely want to keep this Ruby obsessions palette out I do want to keep this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette out I want to use this some more because I really do like this palette I want to try to do some fall looks with this palette um, so I want to use that I'm gonna keep both of these out I did say I wanted to use the makeup Shayla and perception palettes so, uh, I can put it away I'll just use it once we get to where we're going um, definitely keeping out this Fenty Beauty money palette I want to keep that out uh, as far as the other two I'm gonna put these two away I want to keep out this topaz obsessions because that's really gorgeous definitely want to keep out this ace beauté quintessential palette um, what do we have out here I haven't used this in a minute so let's keep that out this is the born to run by urban decay I just used these they're just so pretty these XX revolution palettes I actually just used these palettes and I thought they were so cute um, I'm gonna put them away though because I did just use them I'll keep out this elf palette and I'm also gonna keep out this Natasha Denona palette you know what? I changed my mind about this Natasha Denona. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's the next day. It's August 20 something. August 28th. Friday, August 28th. And um, I just got finished filming a couple of videos. And now I'm going to attempt to go outside and take some Instagram photos. So I... Okay, I have just started upping my Instagram game. Once I'm done taking photos, we're going to kind of sit down and talk. And I'm going to talk to you guys all about like my channel and my goals and my growth and what I want to do and like where I want to take my channel and all of that. So give me a minute and we'll talk about that. But I've just started trying to up my Instagram game. I've been trying to post more. And I've also been trying to take more than just like photos like this. Like me sitting in front of the camera like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to do better. I really am um, I'm so not comfortable taking photos and having photo shoots and stuff so going outside is going to be super nerve-wracking it's the first time I've ever done anything like this so 
I hope y'all following me on Instagram, okay? So y'all can appreciate this. <laughs> but we're gonna attempt to do it. I actually just bought a phone tripod. I think I'm just gonna use my phone for this one. Um, just, be, just because I think it's easier. So I bought a phone tripod and I bought the little remote to go with it. So I'm actually gonna go upstairs, get that, set it up. I need to pump too because my boobs are like huge. But I'm gonna go get that and set it up. And um, then we're gonna head outside and attempt to take some photos. And y'all don't be laughing at me either. I'm, I'm just, I've never been comfortable taking like a bunch of pictures. And I know that's kind of weird seeing as how I'm on camera four times a week like with y'all but it's just I don't know taking pictures of something different and then the thought of people outside like maybe watching me is even more weird so yeah all right so I'm out here y'all and it totally looks like it's about to rain again so I'm hoping I can get at least a few photos in before that happens I don't know but we'll see I hooked up, here's like my little tripod that I got from Amazon. Let me see so y'all can see what I'm doing. taking photos by myself I have to get better at that I have to get more put this thing up I have to get more like comfortable in front of the camera especially if like people are watching I'm like I don't want to be out here and it makes me uncomfortable hold on I'm trying to get this right for y'all all right but yeah it makes me uncomfortable and then I just get really like the weird and I don't want to be there but anyway I wanted to talk to you guys what was that I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about like my YouTube goals and where I see this channel going in the future and what I'm kind of trying to do with this channel because well first of all um if you're watching this thank you thank you so much for your support you guys are like one of the most supp supportive communities I've ever seen y'all I mean I have people that comment on every video every post um like every video every post and it is it feels so good to know that somebody's out there watching now with that being said sometimes it does get frustrating because i do feel like like my channel just is not growing like it's and maybe that's just me i just i don't feel like it's growing as fast as other people's channels and i know you're not supposed to compare yourself comparison is the thief of joy okay I know that and I wholeheartedly believe that but you can't help sometimes but to look at other people who started after you or the same time as you and like dang their videos are getting seen people are watching their videos their views are up why is mine not up like what am I doing wrong and sometimes I feel that way and it just gets super frustrating and so you guys have no idea how much you encourage me just to keep going not to mention YouTube is something that I love first of all YouTube does not pay my bills I've, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I have a job, a good job, and it, that pays my bills. YouTube does not pay my bills, so if I stopped YouTube today, it's not like I would be like stopping my source of income. So I say that to say I'm not doing YouTube in order to make money. But money is nice, you know what I'm saying? To have an extra stream of income or an extra few streams of in income come in because of YouTube is nice. It's helpful, obviously. Um, things like what we're going through right now with the coronavirus and people getting laid off. Thankfully, that did not affect my family. But in the future, it could if something like this were to ever happen again. So having another stream of income, I think right now is, is just crucial. And the future, the present and the future is online. Like that's what it is. I'm not saying it's specifically YouTube, but it's online. So um I just sometimes it just gets it just gets frustrating because I feel like my channel just isn't growing however I just took a like 
YouTube course. It was like a seven day like YouTube challenge with Think Media. They're a YouTube channel here on YouTube. And um, I really like their content because they give, they do a lot of reviews like on tech stuff and just like how to grow your channel and stuff like that. So I took some really good notes and got some really good tips for them. So I've been trying to apply that in my recent videos and I have been seeing a little bit of growth. So I'm I, like, I have like a renewed kind of vigor for YouTube again and I have these stretch goals that I'm uh, thinking about over the next uh, few months so <clears throat> by the end of the year I would really love to be at 25,000 subscribers I'm putting that out to the world I'm saying it to you guys and um no I don't I mean if you're, you're probably already subscribed if you're watching this video so um it's not like Oh, I'll be hearing noises. But you're probably already subscribed if you're watching this video, so it's not like you can subscribe again. But um, I'm just, I want to put that out there to the world just to, um, just so I know. So as a reminder to me. So that's my goal, 25K by December 31st, 2020. And I really want to be as consistent as possible, which I have been. I, I'm not, I don't have a problem with consistency. I feel like my content is good, but I guess where you guys can come in is if you see something on my channel that you think can be tweaked or just something that maybe I'm not talking about that you'd really love to dive into, and that works for this channel or my vlog channel. If you see something like that, that maybe you just want to talk or hear more about and I don't do on this channel definitely let me know and you know if I get enough people to say that I'll absolutely incorporate whatever you guys want to see I I mean I I want you guys to want to watch what I'm putting out so I do just want to put that um put that out there that that is my goal and if you can help me out in any way I don't know share my videos with a friend whatever I would totally appreciate it Another thing I like I see people all the time and they're like promoting themselves on like Instagram and I feel like I don't do a good job at that like I'm just kind of like oh if people find my channel if they want to watch they'll watch they'll find me but um something I want to get better at over the next few months is definitely promoting myself like I'm really good at doing it at work but when it comes to like YouTube it's kind of like oh well whose dog is barking it's kind of like oh well YouTube is a hobby it's fine it's not a big deal if people watch or they don't watch and it's not like it's not really a huge deal for me but the more time goes by the more I'm doing YouTube the more I just want to be successful at it like I want to kill it like I do every other part of my life and I feel like I can't really figure this YouTube thing out I don't know I don't know why but I just feel like I can't figure this YouTube thing out and so I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep putting out good content. Again, if you guys see anything, if you want to talk about something I don't talk about, or if you are just like, girl, you could tweak that audio a little bit, or you could tweak that, um, that visual a little bit. Like if you guys see anything like that, definitely let me know. I would absolutely love the constructive criticism. Um, always looking for ways to improve my content for you guys.